last three days, my family and I have been sleeping on the ground, eating food haphazardly prepared over a fire, and not showering. No, we didn't get evicted. We went camping. And on this camping excursion, one of the primary cooking implements that we employed was the venerable Dutch oven. So here I sat, cleaning my Dutch oven and preparing it for however long the duration might be until the next time that I used it, and it occurred to me that maybe you guys might want to know some of the tricks that I've learned over countless years of experimentation to try to keep my Dutch oven from going rancid if I haven't used it for a while. Or how to bring it back from the brink of rancidity. Is that a word? Rancidity. Yeah, it is. How to bring it back if I've let it get rancid. Because you know as well as I know, if you searched for this video, it ain't an easy thing to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. First, let's go down the road of prevention, because like in many other things, preventing this Dutch oven from becoming rancid is much easier, like ridiculously easier, than fixing it once it has gotten rancid. And all it requires is a paper towel. This is going to seem silly. I promise it seems silly to me when I learned it. Thanks to my good buddy Mike, the uh, unchallenged... Dutch oven king. Take your paper towel, split it in half, and then fold it up. Until you have this little thing of a paper towel. Do that twice. And then, before you put your Dutch oven away, make sure to wash it without soap. You know that. Put your little things right here and right here before you put your lid back on. Put your lid back on just like that. Little things of paper towels keeping an air gap in there and put it away. You will not have a rancid Dutch oven at least in my experience and I've left this thing sitting for quite some time with the little paper towel thingies in there and it has not become rancid ever with the with the air gap in there when the air circulates through there it keeps it from getting rancid and i have also had times when i've left it sit for two weeks with no air gap in there just the lid on it after having cleaned it well and it got rancid so that is how simple it is to prevent your dutch oven from getting rancid right there now let's talk about what you do if you've forgotten to do this and your Dutch oven got rancid. If you've ever had the misfortune of a rancid Dutch oven, you know that that taste, that odor, that yuck of rancid oil will permeate everything. And you might wash it and wash it and wash it and wash it. And now you've washed it six times with no soap and you finally give up. And you use soap and you wash it well with soap and it doesn't work. And then you put water in it and you put soap in it and you boil it with soapy water and it still doesn't work and to the point where you think about throwing it out or giving it away well i say that because i've been exactly there when i forgot to wash my dutch oven well i forgot to put the air gap in it and i put it in the attic for a year man it was not cool trying to get that stuff out of it here's the method i finally found that gets it clean every time reliably now, I will warn you that it's going to cause some smoke. So when you do this in your oven, it's gonna cause some smoke. Or when you do this in your backyard, it's gonna cause some smoke. You might wanna stand around it or at least stand by your door so that when your neighbor comes to tell you your house is on fire, you can tell them, no, I'm just cleaning my Dutch oven. What you need to do is put it in either the barbecue grill on high or the oven at about 400 degrees and you need to leave it in there until all the smoke stops. When the smoke stops, you can reasonably assume that all of that old yucky oil has now been incinerated out of there. Just for good measure, I tend to leave it in an additional 15 to 20 minutes, just because it makes me feel good inside to know that it's for sure really burned out of there. Now turn off the oven or the barbecue grill, whatever, and let it cool. Now you may use your Dutch oven without your chicken, or your beans, or your cobbler, or your bacon, tasting like rancid 
nasty oil. I really hope this was helpful to you. It took me, seriously, years to figure it out. If it was helpful to you, please go ahead and click that thumbs up. There you go. Even if you're watching this with the volume off, thumbs up. Click the thumbs up and uh, let YouTube know that it was useful to you. Please pass it on to a friend if you got a buddy who cooks with a Dutch oven frequently or even infrequently. It'll help them too. And please come back soon and check for the next video. Thanks for your time. We'll see you next time.